Hey guys, how you doing? This is a weird homebrew Wednesday. There's not even an intro to this. And I'm standing like literally with my GoPro camera on my water cooler in the kitchen um, to do this video. Um, it's a bit of a stripped down version of Homebrew Wednesday this week and that's because I just spent four hours editing um, a brewing video that I shot here and I'm pretty tired so I think I'm gonna um, save the things I wanted to talk about this week on Homebrew Wednesday I think I'll save them until next week where I can actually sit down and and get my thoughts together but I do have a beer I do have a homebrew here this is probably gonna be one of the last glasses of Cooper's um, Canadian Blonde that's in the keg well there's probably a few left um, it hasn't been in there very long so it's not all that clear but cheers anyway I yes I've been waiting for that. I don't try to try not to drink too many beers while I'm editing my videos because you know obvious reasons. But anyway, so um, rather than make this late again like it was last week, I figured I'd just put it out there, and it's just a quick update what's going on. The things I wanted to talk about, I'll just give you a little hint, and then um, next week I'll go into depth, you know, in these things, and we'll you know really get into it so um i did some stuff the other day um i got some of my old all grain equipment out and i started calibrating it to you know so that i could get some more all grain uh, brews done i haven't done an all grain batch in a while knock that pot off the stove there so that wouldn't be good yeah. and um so and the reason i haven't done uh, an all grain brew in a while and by a while i mean a few months I guess I've been doing mostly extract and partials um, the reason for that is I never really dialed in my equipment uh, and what by that I mean you know I have beer Smith I purchased it a couple years ago um, there's other ones out there um, there's free ones too I don't I don't uh, I'm not trying to endorse any particular uh, program or software um, but you know that's the one I just chose to use and it's good you know um, but one of the things that makes it a lot easier to brew your your all grain batches is to have certain parameters already uh, figured out for example how much water do you lose when you boil you know for an hour on your stove or on your burner or wherever you boil from um, and with the particular pot that you have um, how much water or wort do you lose in your mash tun and then how much so that basically determines how much water you're going to need to use for your batch and I never really dialed that in so every time I thought about making an all grain it was like oh geez okay I gotta figure this stuff out you know I've, I gotta kind of guess I kind of have to you know so what I've done is I like I said I got out some of my equipment and I've been doing some experiments um, to, to find out these constants as, as I guess they're called things that are always going to be the same uh, during a batch excuse me uh, that you need to factor into it so that you can accurately figure out your water you know how much water you need and your temperatures how hot do you need your strike water in order for your it to end up at the right temperature in your mash tun all that stuff needs to be figured out and I never really did it and so I'm really guilty about that and that's why I really haven't done a lot of all grain brewing uh, lately because I know that it's a pain in the neck for me to go and do it without doing these calibrations so uh, I'll talk more about that next week the other um, thing that I was um, sort of thinking about was this whole metric versus Imperial versus US you know you know you got gallons you got US gallons you got Canadian gallons they're different you never know which which gallon they're talking about when you get a recipe so you have to you know you, you're it's always frustrating and then so I thought well you know metric system is the best way to go and so I did a whole bunch of stuff there two calculations and, and um, got myself a little notebook and just wrote some stuff down so uh, 
next week on Homebrew Wednesday, I'll get more into depth about those things with you and um, and uh, show you, you know, what I've done. And I'll probably even do some more um, uh, experiments as well so that I'll know exactly how my equipment uh, works. Once you know that, doing an all grain brew is much, much easier than doing it when you don't know what you're doing. And I think that's one of the reasons why people get um, a little intimidated. Look, there's a, still a screw in there. I, I have to paint my kitchen and I took stuff shelves down and I left the screw in. Whatever. Anyway, I'm, I got lots of things I got to do. Anyway, um, so uh, um, these things, if you have them um, sort of dialed in, it makes it much easier because then you just plug stuff into your software whatever you d tend to use, if you use software, some people don't. And you, um, you know, you plug them in there and it, it tells you exactly how much water, exactly what temperature to put your strike water at, exactly everything. And then you just do it and it works. You know, and that's what a lot of people do. And that's just something that I never got sorted. Well, now it's gonna be sorted. That way I can do more all the grain. I won't go into any more details there because I'll, next, you know, spoil it. I'll spoil next week's video. If, I do. Um, the third thing I wanted to discuss next week um, is beer styles, and um, like I would just I just want to discuss how pe some people get sort of hung up on brewing to style, if you know what I mean. So in other words, when they brew a beer, they they're they're looking for a specific style when they go in, and if they don't get that style within the guidelines that are set by whoever, then they get upset and they think that they've failed because even though they've got, you know, they've got beer and it's perfectly good beer, it doesn't seem to fit into a particular style. And I have my opinions on that. And so I would like to talk about that next week. So there's three things next week that I would like to address on Homebrew Wednesday. Just that now isn't the time. Um, I'm literally, what do you do? My dog is digging somewhere. What are you doing? No, there's nothing there. It's a tin can. Why is there a tin can on the floor? I missed, missed the garbage when I threw that. What's the matter? Hey, eh? She's a good dog. Here. You want a beer? No. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, there we go. I seem to remember that movie. If you remember back in the 80s, I think it was, where there's a movie called Strange Brew by with Bob and Doug McKenzie. And, uh... I haven't seen it in a while, but I remember when I watched it, it was really funny. And um, they, their dog drank beer, basically. Well, if, it's probably gonna, I wouldn't, you know, that's, that was, I knew she wouldn't drink that. It's not good for them anyway, so. Um, but I do remember that movie, and it was a pretty funny movie for the time, I guess, I don't know. Part of it was actually shot here in my city. Um, uh, in, uh, there was a part where there was a van, they were driving along, there was a, a scene where they were driving down a, some sort of a hail or something anyway um, so that's if, you, if you're ever bored and you want to watch an, an old 80s beer movie and strange brew is what it's called and of course it's got all that really lame 80s you know type of you know, uh, script and whatnot the way they did things and whatnot. it's a pretty funny movie it's, it's pretty good if you like Bob and Doug McKenzie certainly it's uh, it's great um Anyway, um, that is really what is going on, and I need to, you know, get some sleep. <laughs> Somebody commented next week, you know, last week on my video, you know, 10 year anniversary is coming up here on YouTube for me. I have read literally probably tens of thousands of comments uh, that have been posted underneath uh, my videos. And it's just the diversity of stuff that I've read. Um, most of it, if the, a large portion of it, a, la a very high percentage of the comments have been positive. And I thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. Somebody who does YouTube videos like me, we need that. We need to hear positive feedback from people. We also need to hear negative feedback too, if if there needs to be that. Um, Somebody, you know, you get you get people who just don't know how to give constructive criticism. They just say stupid things, and you know, 
when you're new on YouTube, it bothers you. But I'm not new on YouTube. There's lots to talk about, but right now I'm just too damn tired to put together a Homebrew Wednesday video that's with intros and everything. I just, uh, we'll just, for this week, we'll just do real simple. Um, that's the way it used to be. My first Homebrew Wednesday video was just very simple. Just like this. I think it was only 10 minutes long as well. You, if you, you, you guys could do me one, one big favor, and that is, um, if you can possibly do it, and I don't know, you know, if you watch the videos on your phone or on an iPad or a, or a tablet or on your computer or whatever, but you know what, if you like the videos, please thumb them up. Okay, I mean, you don't have to thumb this up because there's nothing to thumb up. I mean, this is just a piece of, you know, you guys can really support me if you just press that thumbs up button if you like the videos. And it takes you one second and it really helps. It helps my channel out. I just bought 18 tall boys and they're 400 and 471 milliliters per can. Do the math for your you, you folks who don't use metric um, because most of the world does, by the way. <laughs> it's funny, I got weird comments like, you know, somebody, you know, what's what are you, why are you using metric? Why are you using liters instead of gallons? Hello, guess what? Most of the world does. Um, and it would be it would be really cool if everybody did. But that's a whole other topic. That's next week. All right, we're going to leave that one alone. And I really need to find out what my dog is after underneath there, underneath, behind the water cooler. So I'm going to get going. Thanks a lot for watching. More brewing coming up. Keep that good beer. Keep those, listen, just keep those airlocks bubbling, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>